What's going on guys? I am on my way to meet up with Kelsey uh, to have dinner and, and then we're gonna go watch the movie um, Beauty and the Beast so we've been waiting for this for a while and uh, she had the surprise for me uh, to take me somewhere nice so we will see where that is can't wait So you're excited for the movie? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What yeah. what are you looking forward to most? <sighs> Just seeing how it's all done. That's what I'm excited about. Yes. Rather than necessarily any one scene. But actually I am really excited to see the be our guest scene. I want to see how they do that. But I don't know, part of me is kind of anxious to kind of see it. I've got higher hopes than I did a few weeks ago based on reviews and everything. But ultimately I feel like we're gonna love it. So All right. I'm ready. But we come to a library restaurant to get ourselves in the mood. So so I'm I'm looking forward to it as well. Uh, I watched a non-spoiler review on it, um, a new vlogger, and she did a little review. And with no spoilers, she says cinematography is on on point. So I'm actually looking forward to that cinematography and and just the music in itself because we are. <laughs> we are big musical fans and anything, especially when we know a movie, yeah. um, it's going to be fun and great to watch. Yeah. And I'm ready. I've got on my Beauty and the Beast shirt. I have some roses on a little flower crown in my hair. I don't know if you can see it. And then of course I have my Beauty and the Beast book bag. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready. All right. yeah. I'm alright. <laughs> I don't have much to wear, but it's cold outside here in New York anyway, so I can't wear my t-shirt, right? So what we'll do is just uh, enjoy our dinner and then we're gonna go hit the cinemas and uh, and we will let you know how we feel about it. Happy Beauty and the Beast Day! And St. Freddy's Day, we got adult beverages. <laughs> She's got hers. Bye! Yeah, spaghetti for me with some meatballs and my lovely lady. I the trio of duck. So it's duck sausage, duck confit, and duck something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the coffee, that's sausage, sausage, and that's like, it looks like a shredded duck with some mushroom. Okay, so like slow roasted duck maybe? Yeah, sure, that sounds about right. Alright, <laughs> yeah, enjoying the conversation and dinner? The conversation's alright. Alright, <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy our food. I'm ready. I'm ready too. Nom nom nom. Alright. Yeah. yeah. So excited. So we'll let you know how it goes. We're currently showing a pirates trailer. Pirates. <laughs> hey guys, uh, we We're are back. back. We just got back home uh, having our coffee now and we want to talk about the movie. I can't talk. Why? Just all of the emotions. Yeah. So good! It was. I can't even! Well, she can't even. No, I really can't. The first bit that got me, I mean, I basically cried through the whole movie. The bit that got me first was Be Our Guest. And that was the bit where I was like, oh, oh my god, they've done it. They've actually done it. I was just like on the edge of my seat trying to take it all in. <laughs> Sobbing, tears rolling down my cheeks. It was magical. Well, how about this? Let's go back to the beginning because be our guest is somewhat in the middle, right? Somewhat. And from the start, 
we have, of course, all right, we have to do this without okay. ruining it because this is a uh, non-spoiler. Non-spoiler, right? yes. Non-spoiler. So, <laughs> in compared to the animation, this was a bit more of a story. Like, there's more back end. It delves it. deeper. So you will learn more about certain things that you did not see in the anime film, right? Bells, family background, the yes. beasts background. Yeah, so how everything came to play um, and the story of it. So just had little things here and there you know, to create a, a more um, story that you can kind of uh, put together and how yeah. everything came together. Now, with that said, uh, outside of the extra additions, they also had additions to music, right? Yeah, there are a couple of additional songs. Okay. To be honest, I don't know if it's because they were new to me mm -hmm. and I didn't have the emotional attachment that I do to all the other songs. Right. I, did, I wasn't blown away by the new songs. Maybe I need to listen to them a few more times, but I wasn't just like, yes, oh my god. Like, I felt like those songs didn't necessarily need to be there. Well, I think the main focus of this is it is a remake of your favorite movie. Yeah. You know? it's, and, <laughs> and what you're looking for is resemblance or the... Not the differences, but similarities in in how they did or shot each scene. Yeah. So you were looking for that, and once you found it, that's where your emotions came in. So, in a sense, I felt the same way. And true, that... but then there were also additions that punched me right in the feels. There is a bit at the end. Just before the transformation sequence, this is not a spoiler, everybody knows the transformation sequence. The way that that is done in this remake is stunning. Oh my goodness, it is so emotional. The way it pays attention to each of the individual characters. The detail. Oh, oh yes. Gosh, I was, <laughs> I, I was beside myself and. Yes. Um, so there's you. a. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, prior, prior to that. <laughs> that ending, you know, there's some stuff there that will hit you. And in the film! In the film, yes. <laughs> so definitely look out for that. Uh, visually, it was stunning. The uh, cinematography. It was beautiful. beautiful. So, so it's kind of hard to take in all of uh, everything. Yeah. Because uh, we are used to watching a film um, the way it was shot. And, and just you, knowing it, like not even have to pay attention, do yeah. we? Because we know it so well. But this yeah. new one, I was like, I, on the edge of my seat, like, my eyes, my eyes were like this. I like had to put my hair out of my face because I wanted to take as much yeah. in as I could. Yeah. And the cinema that we were in was quite small. We didn't yeah. have a big screen, you know. We didn't, it wasn't an AMC theater or one of the larger screens that you can see more of the effect that they were Disney was trying to get. Yeah. And we I wish we had that, but we didn't. Well I'll be seeing that. it again at she, least one more time. Yeah, she's set up to go see it again and hopefully in in a bigger you know screen. But for the most part of for what we've seen, it was great. Um, music wise everyone did well. Slight auto tune in some cases. Uh, yeah. But that do you know what that is my one criticism of the whole yeah. movie was our Starring role and the auto tune. Well, the thing too is that, um, with that said, I don't think Emma Watson was hired for her vocals. So she, we, we find these characters that were hired to to resemble um, the characters in the film, in the original film, and that's where their take was on first, and then they had to improvise yeah. with trying to... But, but, I know, I but know it wasn't bad. It no, wasn't it bad. wasn't it was bad. Never... And I also wasn't expect. like, just to be clear, I wasn't expecting her to sound like Paige O'Hara or, you know, I wasn't expecting her to be Belle, you know, from 1991 reincarnate. I knew she'd yeah. bring her own spin to it. I imagined it would have, like, a modern take on the way that she approached the music and her character in general. And she did, and I loved the way that she played it, but... the. I almost found the auto-tune to be distracting from the song, personally. 
yeah, to me, I, I noticed it at first, but it, it kind of just went away. Yeah. Because to me, I wasn't looking for it. Yeah. You know, it's like you noticed it, but it wasn't enough to where it ruined the song. You probably um, were looking for that. I no. Or, or I don't know. Uh, it's it's not that. like no. It's not. You you will notice it if. If you really are looking, really looking. For As I say, that is my one tiny criticism of the whole movie. It didn't ruin it for me. It didn't take away from anything. That was just the one thing. Now, other characters I want to talk about. Gaston. He's still my heart. He is amazing. Is he? He. I can't remember the guy's name who plays Gaston in this new movie, but he is. Evans. Luke. Yes. Springs to mind. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous! He's the perfect Gaston. Disney casting, congratulations. He is amazing. And I feel like there's a bit where he suddenly becomes the villain when he's in the woods with Maurice. And before that, you just, you can't help yourself but love him. He's just, you know, he's kind of got this cheeky, like, Thing about him and you can tell he's gonna be a villain but he's, there's nothing bad to the core but then all of a sudden he switches still love him but he becomes the villain and you are pleased to see his demise by the end but the one character who absolutely stole the show for me was LeFou Josh Gad again casting I, I, if I could possibly think of anybody else I would want to see as LeFou I, I just can't I think he's amazing in that role. He did, he did a great. It was role. like it was made no, he, for him. Yeah, he did. He did well. In, I've got popcorn film. in my teeth. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Oops. So, lots of popcorn. Mm. But no, all in all, it, it was a good film. We I think we can talk more about this once the movie comes out on DVD or something, and we can talk to m more about it in depth. Uh, but that's one thing that you have to look forward to is that when you go watch this film look for the details because Disney is all about details so so this isn't a spoiler but there are plenty of homages to the 1991 version such as the song in the credits of the movie is sung by Celine Dion who of course sung the female part to Beauty and the Beast in the credits of the 1991 Disney animated version and I was just like yes Disney like what a great thing, tribute yeah. or homage to that yes. one so that's the first song that you'll hear when the credits mm -hmm. roll is the Celine Dion song and then you'll of course get your Ariana Grande and John Legend version of Beauty and the Beast so keep an eye for those uh, and really you know if it's something that we haven't talked about that isn't much of a spoiler just let us know comment down below snowballs that was funny it was. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy the film and we will talk more later it again there's so many things that we can talk about but we can't it's just okay. something that's gonna ruin it and I think what we've said is enough <laughs> closing comments what did you think of Beauty and the Beast I enjoyed it very much it's something that's live action, you know. I'm, to be honest, I'm not a fan of them. Uh, the the live remakes, remakes yeah, yeah, the remakes that I've seen so far aren't all that great. Um, the Cinderella one I didn't care for. I didn't even care for Alice in Wonderland. Um, Jungle Book? Jungle Book was Jungle okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So there really wasn't much of live action that I really enjoyed, but I actually enjoyed this one. And Disney needs to do more of this, I think. But then again, you know, we have a big... Uh, this film is a big part of our lives growing up. Of course. Our childhood, so... But that's what I mean. I mean all I was wanting from this movie, if, like, this is kind of my quotes and comments, was just that part, or just that feeling that, you know, they'd done it. And I got that during the Be Our Guest sequence. The the tears that were coming down my face were not because I was happy, they weren't because I was sad, it was just 
like legitimate Disney magic, the same way when I watch Wishes, or the same way when I watch the Castle Show in Magic Kingdom, or even Philhar Magic sometimes. Like, just you know, like that it sense was of perfectly home and done. Disney magic. It, yeah, so they did it well. You know, you expected something magic. from from the original. Well, you have the original, and then you're comparing everything to it. So that's one thing. You know. And I think that Disney knew that and they did what they could to make it reality, so. And in a modern day as well, there are some little references where, uh, I don't know if you call them references, but just little parts of the movie that you're like, okay, that wasn't in the original, but it makes perfect sense for the modern day audience. Mm -hmm. And based on sort of the people around us and the reactions, it seems to go down really well. You got a lot of claps. There was a lot of claps. Yeah, the first and last time I did applaud she as well. for we the first and last time. Applause in the end, so. <laughs> we was... don't do that where I'm from. <laughs> we do. Well, we do in theater, and this is pretty much what. Uh, looks like, we, uh, to be honest, I felt like we were in a play. Oh my god, so that's the thing. Yeah. I felt like I wanted to applaud after every song, but nobody else did, so I sat there quietly and applauded mm -hmm. in my head. <laughs> Anyway, with that said, hope you guys watch it and enjoy it very much. It was Let a us great know what film. you think! Uh, we both give it a two thumbs up, way up. And uh, let us know what you think or once you've seen it and comment down below. Yes, I will be seeing it again next week just to take in everything <laughs> that I couldn't take in before. Maybe take some more detailed notes as well to refer back to things that I can comment on. Yeah. And I can't wait. I already want to see it again. You? Yeah. Enjoy, I'd guys. See it again, but I won't have time. No. Oh. I'm busy. Oh. Enjoy it. Bye.